Hi mga kapatid, ako nga po pala si Kuya G at ito po ang numero ni G. So sa video ito, ang pag-aaralan po natin is hyperbola. So dalawang sequence po ito, hyperbola at center 00 at hyperbola at center HK. Alam po kung na-miss po ninyo ako dahil nga ang tagal ko pong hindi nakapag-upload. So sa kadahilanan po na may ginagawa lang po tayong mga importanteng bagay pero related pa rin po sa mat. So wag na po tayong magpatumpik-tumpik pa at simulan na po natin ang discussion about hyperbola. A hyperbola is a set of all coplanar points such that the difference of its dis uh, distances from two fixed points is constant. The fixed points are called the foci of the ellipse or foci. So, ibig sabihin lamang po ang isang hyperbola po ay para siyang uh, dalawang parabola na magkahiwalay or magkatalikod. Pero kapag para siyang ellipse na binukas, na no? binuksan, parang ganun. Na? So, proceed tayo sa kanyang picture or sa figure at saka sa kanyang farts. Ito ang itsura ng isang hyperbola. Kapag po meron tayong uh, dalawang cone, no? the plane cone, tapos na kung saan ay ang kapag nagkat tayo ng isang plane sa half, no? yung half ng bawat cone, is makakapag-compose siya ng curve which is yung hyperbola, dalawang curve. Ngayon, meron tayong mga parts of parabola. Meron tayong tinatawag na center. Ito yung center, which is center at 0, 0, which is, ayun po muna yung ating i-discuss. And then, meron po tayong tinatawag na vertex. Ibig sabihin, dalawa yung vertex pa din dito. So, ayun yung tinatawag nating vertices. And then, meron din po tayong tinatawag na focus or dahil dalawa sila that is foci. And then next, meron din tayong tinatawag na latus rectum. Dalawang latus rectum. Isa sa baba, isa sa taas, isa sa kanan, isa sa kaliwa. Depende po sa stand or sa situation ng graph. Dalawa lang naman po yung kanyang graph. Which is itong graph na to na kung saan yung dalawang parabola is up and down or yung hyperbola is up and down na may formula na y squared uh, all over a squared minus x squared Uh, all over v squared equals 1. At meron din tayong uh, hyperbola na uh, nakaharap sa left at sa right. Meron tayong x squared over a squared minus y squared over v squared equals 1. Kung mapapansin po ninyo, kapag ellipse, ang, mag ang magbabaligtad ito po ang nasa baba. Kapag naman po hyperbola, yung nasa taas po yung nagbabaligtad. So let us go proceed now to our guidelines. So dito mga kapatid, katulad lang din po siya ng ellipse, pero which is the same lang naman po siya. Ngayon, kung mapapansin po ninyo, kapag po given ang vertices at ang foci or foci, ang ginagamit na part ng formula is yun nandito. Kapag naman ang pareho ay nasa y-axis, or kapag ang y-axis ang nag exist which is ito, yung may number, and then, ito po yung gagamitin nating uh, equation. No? Tandaan po ninyo, kapag sa equation, papalitan lang si a squared at si b squared. Okay? So, yung nasa taas, hindi mo po muna natin siya babaguhin. Kasi nasa hyperbola at center 0, 0 na po tayo. So, let us now proceed to our examples. Number one, the vertices is positive negative three zero and the foci of positive negative five zero. Which uh, so ibig sabihin ng value ng a yung nasa vertices which is yung three at yung focus naman or yung foci or yung letter c na kapokus po siya dun sa uh, value ng foci. Ngayon titingnan mo po mabuti sa ating dalawang guidelines kung ano nga ba po yung gagamitin natin. Kung yung, since dito sa given na itong nag exist yung nasa x-axis, gagamitin natin itong portion na to. So, let us start now to solve this. So, let's start. So, bago natin simulan ang latus rectum 1 at last, uh, latus rectum 2, let us go first to solve the letter B, the V squared or the value of B. So, let's proceed now. So, B squared So, equals to c squared minus a squared. So, ngayon, ang value ng c, that is 5 squared minus the value of a, that is 3 squared. And then, 5 times 5, that is 25, minus 3 times 3, that is 9. So, 25 minus 9, so that is 16. So, b squared is equals na to 16. To get the value of b, that is getting the square root of 16, that is positive, negative, negative. 
4. So, this is our value of V and also the value of V squared is 16 kasi gagamitin natin siya sa equation. So, proceed tayo sa lattus rectum. So, ngayon, since kap mga kapatid, no? So, since ito na po yung gagamitin natin formula dahil nga ito po yung nag exist sa given number 1 natin, itong LR1 tsaka LR2 tsaka itong equation na to ang ating gagamitin. So, yan. Negative C. So, negative the value of C that is uh, 5. So, positive, negative the value of B squared that is 16 all over what is the value of uh, A. So, that is uh, 3. So, negative 5. Then, positive, negative 16 divided by 3 that is. So, that is 5.33. Three. So, therefore, ang ating LR1 is negative 5, positive 5.33, and negative 5, negative 5.33. So, yan na siya. Sa, L, sa lattus rectum 2, para mabuo na natin yung graph, so, positive C. So, pabalitan mo lang yung C ng 5. And then, positive negative. So, B squared... So, the B squared is 16 all over uh, the value of A that is 3. So, syempre, 5, then positive, negative, 16 divided by 3, which is the same, 5.33. So, therefore, ang ating ikalawang latus rectum ay 5, 5.33, and 5, negative 5.33. So, let us now proceed sa kanyang equation. So, since guys, ang equation na gagamitin natin is ito. Itong nasa baba. Okay? So, equation. Proceed tayo sa equation niya. Equation. So, the equation is x squared all over a squared minus y squared all over b squared equals 1. So, alisin na natin siya. Thank you. And then... So, ang papalitan lang naman natin is yung a squared at yung b squared. So, x squared all over the value of a squared. So, a squared. So, a. A is 3. Then, 3 times 3, that is 9. Then, then y squared minus b squared. The b squared is 16. Then, equals 1. So, this is our equation for number 1. So, proceed na tayo sa graph. Okay, so let us now graph the number 1. So, syempre, center at 0, 0, given na po yan. And then next, ver uh, vertex or vertices of 0, uh, positive, negative 3, 0. So, positive 3, 0. So, this is your vertex 1. And then, uh, negative 3, 0, that is your vertex 2. And then next, the fourth side of zero, uh, positive, negative 5, 0. So, first is positive 5. This is your focus 1. And then, the negative 5, 0. That is your focus 2. And then, next, let us now proceed to your lattice rectum. So, the lattice rectum 1 is negative 5. 5.33, negative 5. 5.33. So, I mean, siguro mga nasa banda dito lang po yan. Okay. And then, negative 5. Then, negative 5.33. Negative 5.33. So, and then... So, connect mo yung uh, point na to from vertex until to the lattice rectum. So, ganyan po siya. Oh, sorry. Pero, sige po. Basta po nakatapat na lang po siya dun sa partiki. Ganyan po. Tapos, syempre, since lattice rectum yan, imaginary line na lang po natin siya. And then, let us now proceed to our lattice rectum 2. Sa kabila naman po tayo. So, this is 5, 5.33. Sorry, 5, 5.33. Yun. And then, 5, negative 5.33. Yun. So, here. Papantay lang natin. And then, connect from the vertex. There. Yan yun na siya kung hindi siya medyo magpapantay. And then, here. And then, yan. Pasensya nyo na ingay. And then, next. Yan po yung ating graph sa x squared all over 9 minus y squared all over 16 equals 1. So, yan na po yung itsura ng graph natin sa number 1. Ibig sabihin, merong parabola sa 
left, meron parabola sa right. So, yan po yung itsura ng hyperbola. Okay, so sa number 2 po tayo mga kapatid, ang vertices is uh, 0, positive, negative 2, and the foci of 0, positive, negative 4. So, let us check for this our uh, for the guidelines kung ano nga ba po ba yung gagamitin natin itong side na to or itong side na to. Since dahil ang given na to is nag-exist dito sa y-axis, we need to use this particular uh, formulation. So guys, ito po yung ating gagamitin na set of equation. So simulan na po natin siyang isolve. So isolve na po muna natin yung b squared. So b squared, so the value of c, that is 4 squared minus the value of a, that is 2. And then squared. So, per squared, that is 4 times 4, that is 16. 2 squared, that is 2 times 2, that is 4. So, 16 minus 4, so that is 12. So, ang value ng ating b squared ay 12. Para makuha mo yung value ng b, kunin mo ang square root ng 12. So, that is positive, negative, 3.46. So, yan. Tapos na tayo sa b at sa b squared. No? And then next, let us proceed now to our... Uh, let us rectum 1 here. So, B squared, positive, negative. The B squared, that is 12, all over the value of A, that is 4. And then, negative, the value of C. Um, okay. Sorry, hindi pala siya 4. Siya po ay 2. Sorry po. And then, negative, the value of C, that is 4. And then, positive, negative, 12 divided by 2, that is 6, negative 4. So, therefore, ang ating LR1 is 6, negative 4, and negative 6, negative 4. Yan. Okay. So, sa lahat rectum 2, so, positive, negative, B squared, that is 12. And then the value of A, that is 2. And then the value of C, that is 4. Okay? So, next. So, positive, negative, 12 divided by 2, that is 6 pa din, and then 4. Okay? So, therefore, the value of our lattice rectum 2 is 6, 4. And, uh, what do you call that? Negative 6, 4. So, ngayon, sa equation naman, y squared all over the value of a, a squared, that is 4, minus x squared over b squared, ang b squared is 12, and then equals 1. So, this is our equation. So, proceed na po tayo sa ating graph. Mga kapatid, proceed po tayo sa graph. So, ang center po natin ay 0, 0, so given, and then 0, positive, negative 2. 0, positive 2, this is your vertex 1. And then 0, negative 2, this is your vertex 2. And then next, the fourth side of 0, positive, negative 4. 0, ayan, positive 4, focus 1. And then the vertices of 0, negative 4, I fourth side, focus 2. And then next, so let us proceed now to lattice rectum 1. So ang lattice rectum 1 natin is 6, negative 4. So 6, or 6, 6, negative 4. And then, negative 6, negative 4. Negative 6, negative 4. And then, ito yung latus rectum niya, which is ito yung segment, or yung magkoconnect sa dalawang uh, point. Uh, sorry, hindi pala dyan. Dito. Yan, dito po tayo magkoconnect sa vertices. Sorry po, nagkamali po ako. Yan. Dyan na po tayo magkoconnect. Yan. And then, next, yung isa naman, Lattice rectum 2 is 6, 4. 6, 4. Yan. And then the negative 6, 4. Negative 6, negative 6, and 4. So then connect always class. Kapag magkoconnect po tayo ng mga hyperbolas, ellipse, make sure mag start tayo sa vertex. Yan. Sa vertex tayo mag uh, start So this is your lattice rectum 2. So, ngayon, kung titignan mo yung graph, isa sa up, isa sa down. So, yan po yung graph natin sa uh, y squared all over 4 minus x squared all over 12 equals 1. So, ayan po ang itsura ng graph ng ating number 
to. Diyan na po nagtatapos ang ating first series ng Hyperbola. So sa susunod na video po is Hyperbola at Center HK. Muli po, ako po si Kuya G at ito po ang numero ni G. Kung bago ka pa lang po sa channel ko, mag-like, share, comment, and subscribe ka na po. Muli po, maraming salamat po and God bless you.